Hi, you know what this is. I bring to you weird and creepy things I found on the internet because I thought that were cool while I have iCarly playing on in the background. That's a good intro, right? But have you ever tried searching your birthday on YouTube? July 25, 2000. Yes, ladies, I am a Leo. Do with that what you will. What happens? What, what genuinely happens? Well, we get fucking Conan O'Brien, for one, and then this weird thing right here. This little thingamabob. It's just this. It's, it's just this. I don't, there's no audio, there's no context. It's, it's just this. It's just this entire channel with my birthday on it for some reason like i don't i don't know what's happening here and it's weird okay let me give you the actual context it is it's a reddit post i know reddit uh, but like it's weird because it goes from someone saying that they were searching for a spongebob creepypasta and that sounds so 10 years ago kind of ish thing but whatever but there's a creepy fossil from spongebob called apparently 7 25 2005 which would have been my fifth birthday so this kind of stood out to me and as to why i put it on here but they put it in wrong they put 2000 my date of birth so july 25 2005 is just it it's a it's a supposed story of a spongebob episode in which Spongebob just starts glitching out and morphing in really weird ways. Motherfucker was literally just falling into the back rooms, essentially. But a couple of people were able to see it. <laughs> According to trollpasta.com, it's uh, it was on the episode Your Shoes Untied, or slash Gary Takes a Bath. You know, where they teach you how to tie your shoes, something I still can do, and where Gary takes a bath. But essentially, Patrick just starts talking to Spongebob, Spongebob doesn't reply, and then he just starts falling into the back rooms. I don't know why it's here. No one knows why this is here. I don't know why this is here. But it's just weird. It's weird to me though, because it's my birthday. And the channel is just straight up called Weight Gain Cartoon for Kids. I don't fucking get it. What's going on here? I, it's just weird. And who, who, who liked it? Oh, fucking I am. Now the next thing on here is this very odd and what a lot of people seem to take as disturbing recruitment ad for the psyops, right? The psychological operations. But um it's a recruitment video made by them. The whole thing is just a psyop in itself because it makes you think that what they do is cool as it makes you think that you're gonna do that one mission from mono for 2019 where you just reach and clear the house it makes you think that's what they're doing but that's not what psyops are psyops are just propaganda you're not immune to propaganda but a lot of people seem to take this as the deep state straight up telling you that they are fucking with you that they are putting a psyop on you right that's what a lot of people are taking from this and it's so weird it's it's just weird. The the recruitment ad is fucking phenomenal. It is. It's genuinely so fucking good. People are taking a very disturbing feeling from this. And I just... I don't know how else to put it. Like, there are other videos of veterans that reacted to this. And they also said that it's kind of weird. And that it's essentially a good recruitment ad. But it's odd. I'd have to show you as to why people think that. You say your last good night while I. another very important phase of warfare. It has as its target 
not the body, but the mind of the enemy. The target of psychological warfare is against the enemy's mind. It is words and ideas. The ammunition used by Cywar. Its mission is to influence the thoughts of the enemy soldiers. And at the same time, is expected and encouraged to study foreign languages and the social sciences such as history, economics, and sociology. He must have a broad and sympathetic understanding of all phases of human experience. Gripping at my skin, the walls of night close in. Oh, but the use of this force as an integral part of combat has now taken on new form. So psyops are nothing new. They're nothing new. They've been around for a while. But people seem to think that the deep state is openly, quote unquote, advertising that it's manipulating everything through psyops, right? Assassinations, coups, takeovers, which whatever you want to call it. Just people seem to think that it's an outright advertisement, not for you to join, but for them telling you what they do to everyone including you there's also these things where um when when disney plus got announced pretty much a lot of international disney channels just kind of shut down unexpectedly and you can find them all over the place but it's just it's so depressing seeing this it's it's so weird but like you can find them and i hate it it's just so fucked because they just cut off for no reason and then it tells you that it's done it like it ended its broadcast and it's like not just seeing that shit as a kid late at night just fucking tv channels done right no signal it's like oh god But a lot of them, pretty much all of them, don't have like a good pie. And it's kind of fucking creepy. And it's kind of depressing. Because like... <laughs> what the fuck happened? I also just want to toss in this. The city of Amarillo, Texas. God awful Texas. Found this picture. And they, they don't know what it is. It looks like a fucking weirdo. But the funniest part about this is that in any comments that you find under this picture everyone says it's a furry and it's just the funniest fucking thing but no one knows what it is people think it's an alien people think it's a fucking furry for one the city of amarillo thinks it's a chupacabra chupacabra don't stand on its two fucking feet bro i don't know what to tell you also this thing which is pretty much the last thing i wanted to show you but um <clears throat> it's known as Chimo di Violenza, which is food of violence in Italian, but it's a shockumentary, if you will, which is just a documentary on death or violence, and it's heavily fucking uncensored. I don't know why this is like available, but fuck. Basically what this is, it's, it's a documentary on China. And how people there seem to use aborted fetuses for consumption. People eat aborted babies, aborted fetuses, and it's fucking weird. You know, it's hard to, like, judge another country and their eating habits. But, like, what this gets on is uh, they use aborted fetuses to flavor foods. Right? Like parts from aborted fetuses to flavor their foods or just straight up eat the aborted fetuses. This thing is fucking disgusting and it's uncensored and it's on YouTube. It's just fucking there. I don't care how hard your stomach is. You're gonna see something that's gonna make you go oh, when you see this. I mean, I saw this first on Plague Malt's iceberg. Right? I love that guy. 
But goddamn, I didn't think this was gonna be that bad when I actually looked at it. And holy shit, it's dis it's disgusting. I don't care. Fucking nasty. It's like ten minutes, but it goes on talking about two guys who have done this thing, who have gone and eaten these fetuses, and I'm like. The fuck, bro? I don't care your fucking stance on abortion, but god damn it, this is disgusting. Don't fucking do this. If it's real, disgusting. If it's not real, disgusting. I don't care. Literally, the first thing that is told to you, the audience, in this documentary is that the worst thing a woman can go through is an abortion. And it's like, oh god, what am I getting myself into? You know, I'm actually gonna say it. I would recommend you watch this. Just because it's weird. Just so you can say that you've seen it. And then show other people that you've seen this. Before this archive gets taken down. I have nothing else to show you. For now. But uh, thank you for watching if you're still here. With that I'd like to say thank you. Goodbye. And and watch Shibo di Just for the fuck of it. Well anyways. Thank you so much for watching.